Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's video, I have 15 different nail polish brands that are cruelty free. We will go through them in no particular order and I will list them down below in no particular order. So I will start, I have everything from um, really like dollar store brands to more expensive brands. Like I have Butter, Butter, Butter London, let's start with that. This is Butter London nail polish. This is cruelty free. It has a little bunny back here leaping. He's a really nice little guy. And this is in the shade Sunbreaker. It's a really fun one. I love this for Halloween. It's like a perfect kind of darker um, orange glitter, I guess. Butter London nail polish. I believe you can find these at Ulta as well. I'm not for sure. But I found this at TJ Maxx. So you can look there too. Also, let's talk about um, LA Colors. This is the color last. I found this at Walmart. This is one I found at the dollar store. This one right here is in Sun Kissed. This is in the shade Serenity. It's a nice kind of gray, purpley nude. And then this one is very glittery, almost a lot like the Butter London one, but with more pink tones and golden, and not just straight orange. So LA Colors, really great. Find them at the dollar store. So if you're looking for that, I would check LA colors they have really great colors and um they're a really good nail polish I would I can they're a really good nail polish I would say so speaking of the dollar store I did a giveaway on the based around this nail polish was how it started this is the other this is kiss nail polish this is a gel strong kind I have a whole nail polish rack like row filled up with these. I love these so much. Every time I go to the dollar store, I check to see if there's new shades just so I can pick them up because they're only a dollar and they have incredible shades. This is one of their shades I have right now. They dry to a really sh extremely shiny finish. This one has a top coat on it, but it's just really pretty. And so these are the colors that I have. I have Express and Maybe, Maybe Me. So those are the Kiss ones right there. I have so many other colors. I would recommend checking those ones out for sure. And then also Wet n Wild nail polishes, we all basically know that they are cruelty free, but they have some really beautiful shades. This is the um, One Step Wonder Gel nail polish, and then this is the uh, Mega Last nail polish. This one right here is in It's Sherbert Day, and then this one is Coast to Coast, the blue. So then also like something you can get at Walmart. This is the Hard Candy nail polish. I don't believe Hard Candy, I mean, we'll figure it out later, but I've had this one and Hard Candy is cruelty free. So this one is the color in Beetle. It was really popular here on YouTube like a year or two ago, but it's really, really pretty. It's a really interesting color. So, so the next one I'm going to move on to is something that's a little bit, um, not so inexpensive. This one is Illamasqua. These right here, I have this shade Camo and Jomania. I think it is. Jom, Jom, J O M I Jomina. Jomina? I'm not sure, but this purple one is really like a really beautiful bright purple. And then this one just kind of a nice blue tone. I wouldn't say it's like super um, unique, but I, I love them both. I have, I found these on um, a while back on um, Holt Look. So maybe keep your eye out for that. I love these nail polishes. I used to keep them on my nail polish rack, but China Glaze has taken, taken over a nail polish rack because I'm obsessed with China Glaze nail polish. So speaking of which, <laughs> let's talk about China Glaze. China Glaze is a cruelty free. You can find them for really, really inexpensive on um, Detail Beauty. This is in the shade Under the Boardwalk. It's a really nice magenta bright pink kind of tone and then this one is the shade get it right get, get it right it's like a lavender with some glitter in it so china glaze people china glaze i will link them down below as well if you are looking if you have any questions they will be down below for anything that we're, we're talking about also we have zoya zoya is a really good brand to check out too i believe you can get this at Ulta as well. Zoya has some really fun shades. Some people like to find their shade, their name with their nail polish, you know, associated with it. So these ones, this one doesn't have a name, but this one does, and it's called Belinda. So I'm not sure what the name of this one is, but this one is Belinda. 
The next one is a pretty woman. This one is one of those ones. It's like a 5-3 formula or something like that. I'm not sure. It's a really, it's a, like a natural nail polish brand. So really, really good brand to use. And it's, I mean, this is a really pretty beautiful purple. It's a really sheer tone nail polish, but you can build it up for sure. But I love this color of purple. It's, I just love purple. I have purple liner on right now, <laughs> but really, really nice shade. I need to get some more from them actually. And then ColourPop for sure. ColourPop is a really good brand. A lot of people love their neons. They have some good holographics. This one I have right now is called Fr Favorite Flannel. It's a nice um, fall tone color, but I like to wear it whenever I want to. So I feel like they, I always, I always thought that ColourPop nail polishes were in like a smaller packaging, but I mean, I guess this isn't that too, that big, but I thought they were smaller than this. I don't know why. Don't know why. And then also NYX nail polishes are cruelty free. Snail polishes, I'm not sure if they still make this kind, but I do know that they still have polish. So, uh, I haven't like checked out their polishes in a long time, but the color that I have right here is Golden Lavender and then Miami Sunrise. So this one is Golden Lavender and this one is Miami Sunrise. This one I'm new to and I just discovered this in my research doing this video. This is Morgan Taylor and I found this one also at TJ Maxx as well. This is in Best Dressed. It's so beautiful. It's just like, I don't know. When I got this, I was like, this is the most unique nail polish I've ever seen. It's like so red and I love it on my toes in the winter time or even the summer time because it's so, like it looks so great in the sun. So it's just a really pretty color. And I would like to try more from this brand as well. Morgan, Morgan Taylor. Then Orly, Orly is a really good one. They have nails, this is their new formula and right here, and then this is their older formula. This one right here is in the shade, oh, Cabana Boy, and then we have Give Me a Break. You can find these also at um, um, Sally's, and I've seen them at Kohl's, and you can also find these at Head to Toe Beauty. They're not exactly more any cheaper, but you can still find them there, and I pick one or two up when I'm getting a little bit of um, China Glaze nail polishes, so. I don't have too many of these, but I'm growing the collection of these as well. This one I just discovered because of their new lava line. I think it's the lava ones, but this is um, Nails Ink, and they have super pretty, super beautiful like duos that come out. This one is like a holographic nude, really, really pretty. It's called Straight, Straight to My Head, and then we have Phys Physical, like F. F I Z Z, <laughs> really, really pretty, like duo, chromey, really love marbly kind of tone. It's really pretty. And then finger paints. If you've seen this at Sally's, finger paints is cruelty free. I just learned this too in the research that I did, and this one is really pretty. It's, it's like almost kind of looks. I want to say it looks like fish food if you've ever been like fish bait, fish like bait. <laughs> That's like the really weird if you don't know what I'm talking about, but it's really pretty. It's a pink with a lot of iridescent glitters in it. It's super, super pretty. They make really good glitters. And then lastly, but not least, is NCLA. This one is in the shade Call My Agent. It's a nice kind of brighter red, reddish orange kind of tone. I love um, these these little or tinier bottles. They're not they're not like minis, but they're not super like nails ink bottles. You know, they're not fat or anything. <laughs> so I got this in a boxy charm, and so that a lot of the polishes that I've got from Boxy Charm are cruelty free, and so and like that one is like a natural kind of one, which is why it would be so sheer. But this one is I've never tried NCLA before, so I'm glad I have that. So that is 15 nail polish brands that I know that are cruelty free that I own. Now I'm gonna do another video of, of 10 nail polishes that I want that are cruelty free that I want to purchase from. So all together that's 25 nail polish brands that we know are cruelty free or that I know. 
If you know any other nail polish brands that I haven't mentioned or don't mention in the next video, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments and we can talk about that and pick some up for ourselves. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like videos like this, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss anything else or the next video that will be uploaded. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!